Greetings to all of our YouTube subscribers and friends. Welcome to episode number 110 of If This Car Could Talk. We're so glad you joined us today and this week's feature is actually a truck, but a special one indeed. It's a truck that was conceived and built by SEMA Hall of Famer John Mensler. Since we lost John a few years ago, this 2001 Ford F-150 is now entrusted to the care of his daughter Christy. Today, Christy will explain all the details on her dad's truck and its fascinating history. You'll love this feature. So sit back and enjoy today's feature and be sure to give the video the thumbs up and share it with everyone you know. Without any further delay, here's Christy. Now, let's go for a ride. My name is Christy Mensler Becker and I own a 2001 Ford F-150. She's orange and white with big green flames down the side and she carries the Comp Performance Group logo. She's pretty special because she belonged to my father, John Mensler. And uh, she came to be a part of my life in a very special way. My father drove this vehicle for the Comp Performance Group. He was a salesman. And most of the sales reps for Comp drove minivans. My father had one. It was parked in the backyard. He said he wasn't a soccer mom. And my father was a lot of flash. So this truck is a lot of flash. Um, he uh, drove it cross country. She's been uh, a SEMA 2012 show truck. She's done the power tour. She's been to many, many little tiny shops delivering parts and picking up product and lots of different shows. And when people see her, they say, there's John Mensler's truck. My father was large and in charge and it's kind of what this truck does. It stands out in a crowd. So did he. Um, but the one thing that about this truck that's pretty special to me is the fact that my father got leukemia in 2012 and the comp performance group they were a group of people that never let him down they kept him on at full salary through all of his treatments, through everything that he needed. They were there. Those people were the very best. For me, this truck is about those people and how much I love what they did for my father and what they meant to my father. One of my dad's best friends, Nancy Perry, hosts a car show every weekend. And I go there and I take and show the truck. Because, like I said, there are people. This truck only goes to one automotive shop. But it's a family shop that my family, and that's Paul's Arizona Auto, we take her there and they take care of her, but it's family. She's very well loved in a lot of ways. When we take her to SEMA, people say, I saw John Mensler's truck. And they'll post on Facebook pictures. We saw John Mensler's truck even after he passed away. When my father passed away, my brother said, they're coming for the truck. I said, we'll see. Tammy Holland gave me a call and she says, hey, um, I'm going to be out to see you. It was Halloween and she was getting ready to go to the SEMA show. And she came by the house and I said, what are you doing? She goes, I have something for you. I said, what's that? She goes, they're going to give you the truck. I said, what? I said, 
I had my checkbook ready, and she, they gave me the truck. So, they not only helped my dad, they helped me. Because I hold on to her, and I get to cherish her every day for all they did for my family. The cool thing is, is that I see her every day. I get to keep her in my life. I get to keep them in my life. A part of them is still part of me. Now, the comp performance group has moved on. They, the, the people that took care of my dad no longer own the comp performance group. But the gentlemen who took care of my dad are still in the automotive industry. And those gentlemen now have a new venture. They can be found at Driven Racing Oil. So I've added Driven Racing Oil to the back of my truck. Because I didn't change the story, I've just added to it. Hi, I'm Christy Mensler, and this truck, Melba, she was uh, my father's work truck. He worked for the Comp Performance Group, and he traveled all over the country selling these parts for Comp Performance Group. And the specialty part about this truck is, is that it had a unique feature that was built specifically for him. What I'm gonna show you is the way he used this truck to benefit his lifestyle. I'm gonna show you with his company, Motofeed's product. What he did was he had this built so that when he would go out on the road, he would open this up pull this out and he would say these are the products that we sell specifically he'd reach in he'd grab one of their brochures and say this is the kind of stuff we sell this is what you can get here you go he said let me show you one of these things and then he'd flip it out and he'd say here's the product and the customers would get a chance to look at it and he'd have varieties of products, catalogs, and things in the back of his truck so that when he was out on the road, he would have the ability to show customers catalogs, products, things like that, and it all just slid right back up into his truck. And it made it easy for him to travel across the country showing products and a variety of things to different shops, warehouses, things like that, closed it back up, and he was back on the road. So these were the things that he sold, and the comp performance group was what he did it for. And that's the neat feature about Melba. Motofeed is a company that my dad had, that he and a friend of his, Andy Lee, started uh, back in the 80s. They are uh, an engine cradle. They are engine specific. They uh, bolt to the motor mounts and they're a two leg stand and they'll hold a transmission and you can use them for display, for transportation, shipping. Travis has actually taken this down the track with Farm Truck and Asian at uh, the Street Outlaws. So that's, that was fun. He got to do that. I'm going to keep showing it. I mean, the paint job on her is done by Pete Santini over in California. And the little chips and cracks and stuff you see on it, those were all the way my dad left it. Thanks, Christy, for generously sharing your story with our YouTube family today. This is an incredibly historical vehicle and should get a lot of thumbs up from our viewers. As always, thanks for tuning in and for your support. We appreciate it. Next Sunday, please join us for a feature on a Fox Body Mustang notchback that's bad to the bone. You won't want to miss it. Until then, remember, please be careful out there.